I was unaware they existed. Oh, Pepe hands. Yeah, I do this like <laughs> for every team almost. I think I. I. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure our team is the most like isolated from actually communicating with anyone yeah, in the league. Yeah, you are. So. That's one of my questions. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, no problem. So, we're just gonna get started into the podcast. All right. So how did you get into, uh, oh, here's Marcy, for anyone that didn't know. Yeah, that's, that's me. How, it's Marcy. How did you get into competitive Dota? Uh, I've always played, um, here and there. I, I've subbed for teams. I never did anything crazy, because I've done other things, but I have played college football and et cetera, but I've always been, like, playing Dota, so, like, whatever a team would need me, I would sub for five, whatever, and I've been captain. This specific team, um, I put together with Bobo and I got Ghost Pepper and that's kind of how he got in this league because Ghost Pepper knew about this league so that's how we're competing this okay. one right now. Um, how did you, oh, so that, well, that answered my question, how you found this league and how you found your team. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this, this team obviously is a current work in progress considering yes. we never even had a carry for it. Uh, we, we kicked our carry at the beginning of it and it was like, all right, so we've been trying to sub and we've had less than good luck with that. Yeah. But instead we've been playing we switched around positions, like Bobo was supposed to be our sports playing carry, and we have Clammy, our legend legend player god, playing support right now. You have literally so, had the you know, most he's... stand-ins, I'm pretty sure, of anyone ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you found, it's a, it's... Uh, like, a set team yet, or no? Um, I believe so, but I, I cannot, can't really confirm that yet. I think I found players that I'm happy with, but we're going to have to play after this league to see how it goes. Is Clammy going to stay as a... Player. Uh, he'll be honorary sub. <laughs> I just sub. Okay. So, how's your atmosphere okay. like? Uh, very chill. We're we're pretty PMA team for the most part. Uh, I feel like that's kind of one of our advantages. Like when we go into a game, we more or less just play, and I mean, it's pretty pretty open-minded to like what people think like obviously i'm captain i make mm -hmm. the calls and i i say what i want in game but i i listen to anyone's opinions on it and i i feel like even after a loss we if we lose game one since we've won a lot of game twos usually i just say <laughs> all right this is what happened here and we go into the next game we just go at it there's really not a lot of backlash to what's going on in the game we're pretty chill throughout pretty do you guys yeah, swim much. A lot, or? uh we were but we've been kind of playing uh, these like so we'll sc we play Monday Wednesday Friday okay. and then in the off days that we aren't playing we usually scrim um, we're not playing today um, but usually we will do something of that sort yeah okay so like you were saying earlier you were probably the most unknown li like team in this league you keep to yourselves you don't really do much is there like anything interesting that you guys like have that we don't know or like uh, I mean, we're still competing, so I don't think we're giving out secrets right now. Maybe after we get eliminated or win. Okay. <laughs> how, how did you um, yeah. guys feel coming into the league? Uh, we felt confident. I, mean, I saw the post that we were supposed to be last place yeah. or whatever. I mean, <laughs> uh, obviously, it's just because you don't know us. I, I yeah. assume that. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I feel as if we had our, our full stack, if we had a carry, because we had not going to flame certain players. <laughs> first we kicked, and then we had our carry beforehand who went afk on us um it's, it's not it, this isn't even the best that we put forward for, and i think like even with this stack we're only going to get better after sure. this so i feel like I, i'm fine being placed last in the game because no one knew who we were but i i was confident going in i i know kaladis polaris like we, we went into those and we saw the rankings like i didn't really know who these i recognized some of the players because i used to play mm -hmm. a, a while ago i was like well these guys are pretty Pretty confident. I know you play Kaladis, and I was like, but I, I, yeah. I feel like we just do our game. Like I know, like in our drafts, I watched some of the vods. We like we're, one of the first picks we picked was Axe, and that got flamed to yeah, shit. Yeah, don't worry about those casts. Uh, those casts are useless. That's <laughs> good. No, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, like it's, in general, uh, we do things a little bit differently. Yeah. Like uh, I, we have our play style, and despite the matter, despite what people think, we're we're gonna play how we are gonna play. Okay. So, how do you feel about this league? Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, I've had, I've had fun with it. I, I think it's pretty well run. I've been in a few leagues, and some of them have been less than good. For the most part, it's going pretty fast. I've been in leagues that last fucking, like, two months, and I'm like, uh, for what you guys are playing forward. I know you guys had some, like, 
unfortunate situations yes. with some teams being banned and some other stuff, but I feel like if you fill it out with more quality teams, it could be it's pretty good. Yeah, you guys are running Are well. you trying to stay for next season, or do you want to stay for next season? Yeah, I see no reason to. We'll have a different roster. Yeah. Mostly the same, but we'll have different players. But, like, yeah, we'll, we'll so play next how, season. You found this league from Ghost Pepper, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, how, yeah Ghost how, Pepper. how did you meet Ghost Pepper? Uh, we're trying out offlaners. Me and Bobo and Admiral were the first ones on okay. it. I mean, me and Bobo started. And then I was like, all right, we found our move with Admiral. And then from there, we were... Just searching off lanes. We tried out like six or seven off lanes. Ghost Pepper wasn't necessarily the best trout we had, but what I look for in a player is someone who is open for improvement. Because I, I tried out some players who were like immortals and they played good, but they were like, I, I don't like when a player brings an attitude that they're better okay. than everyone and it kind of brings it down. Like, yeah. that's kind of like the main thing that you do is like, I really do value everyone's. I, I, I have this personal theory because I'm Ancient Seven and it's partly because I don't really play pubs that much that, I mean, like, Obviously, there's going to be players that are like super high ranked. They're going to beat me, yeah. but I mean, I, we scrim like top 200 teams. And we do pretty decent against them. <laughs> like, obviously, we don't beat them all the time, but like, I, I really experience. do think that. Yeah, I really do think that if a player gets to like a mortal and then closes their mind, then every other player under them, then they're, mm -hmm. they're not getting better, and that's why I don't really want that on my team. But going back to Ghost Pepper, we tried him out, and he wasn't the best, but he was like someone that gelled both our attitudes. We picked him up. Yeah, yeah, we picked him up, and then he, since then, he's had some on and off games throughout this league, but I've been working with him on certain things, specifically lane control, lane domination, uh, some small things like not and actually getting away with acts properly. So. Yeah, 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 and, he, and he's got a lot better. And for that, like, that's something we wanted. And then, obviously, that was our four stack. We went in with a carry. Before the league even started, we kicked our carry, <laughs> and then the next carry we had, we kicked two, I'm not going to say names, yeah. And it's just like, that. that's been harder. And it's hard to find cores that are quality and we're, we're not gonna like rush into it so okay. we're fine kicking until we find the right one okay. so you guys like i said earlier you guys are the most you changed your roster the most and you're the most quiet do you think that well the roster we don't have we can ignore that part do you think you'll be more active next season in the league or you just can't keep your um focus on i don't i mean i i've i've joked around a bit myself in the chat river but i i see no reason to really go yeah. out and like I, I know you guys have a some people are more open-minded sure. about like talking shit or whatever i mean i'm just we just kind of do our thing we play, play and we do. I mean, that, yeah yeah i mean i guess i used to at least me i don't know my, my team could do whatever they want if they want to start talking shit i won't <laughs> stop them but like for the most part i i like I, said, I used to play college football mm -hmm. there's never been in me to like really brag yeah, about yeah. shit i just kind of do my thing yeah. you get the job <laughs> done and just focus on the next yeah. Okay. So you, you've enjoyed this season so far, though, right? You, you stick around? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how it's going to end. Like I said, uh, the, for the fifth time now, this isn't our roster, yeah. so I don't know how far we'll be able to go with it. But I think I'm pretty content with what we've done now. We've taken a game on every single team besides one. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's been some issues yeah. there, no, no pause or something. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Know, the player just disappeared. Uh, yeah, it was, it was against these. Like, we've taken a game off every single team, and then the times we've lost – we're kind of like we threw a bit, I feel like. And then the, the one time we got 0-2'd, we lost like 10 minutes in each game, and then we kicked our carry. So <laughs> there was there was a reason for that. I went to OT yeah. that was, uh, It must have been a good it team. Was, it was Dietza. Yeah, yeah, it was Dietza. Um, or whatever their name is. I don't even know. That's the thing, I don't even know any of the... Like, you're gonna ask, if, you ask, if you're trying to ask me against like, Cesar about certain teams, I, I, I don't to, have like, to say about them. What team do you want to see like, uh, in the playoffs? Uh, yeah, I don't... We don't I mean, I guess... The team that O2 does, because uh, Dietz Fog, because it's the only team we haven't taken a game on, so it's the only team we've proven we can't beat. Uh, <laughs> so we probably want to play them. They're number one, so no reason to. Plus, they flamed us a bit. Yeah. Feels bad, man. How do you feel coming in? Because, uh, wait, you're against them this week, aren't you? For playoffs? No, we are against Pete oh, the Dog. Pete the Dog, okay. How are you, Very how are you that. feeling about that? Uh, I feel pretty confident. I, I said in our post game last time, I, I feel like. I, again, I'm confident we can beat anyone, but I'm not going to say we are going to win. We just have to play better Dota, and who I think whoever plays better Dota that day is going to win. And it's like, we're going to do our thing to prepare for it. We're going to go into it very confident, and we'll yeah, see who wins. the best interviewers here, man. Like, just, okay. Uh, I'm a comm major, dude. I, I, I've oh, done okay, this before. Okay, okay, so I'm... Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, communication yeah, okay. poli-sci. <laughs> oh, you're poli too, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I was... Well, Venture Field, let's get it. Okay. Yeah. I don't really. Well, if we made the league like $10 or $15, 
buy-in. Would you be fine with that? Uh, it depends on the outcome of the league. Like, obviously, you can't do that if you're gonna have like four teams drop out. Sure, you gotta make sure, sure you have confidence. Just, I'm not trying to flame yeah, the no, league. No. I'm just being honest. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, and there's no problem with that. You just, as long as the price pool is equal, equivalent to the risk put yeah. in, like, that's just kind of how rewards go. <laughs> um, how, what would you like to see changed next season in the league? Um, I wasn't too fond of this playoff, uh, yeah. how the, like, yeah, yeah, well, I, I, I don't really know. I'm not, I mean, obviously, again, there was some yeah. issues with what happened, so that's why I kind of with that. But, I mean, like, I feel like you should probably get around 12 teams in the league and maybe have four drop that are lowest, make it a little more competitive there, like whoever's lowest scores, and then from there do a standard lower bracket, upper bracket type okay. shit. Any, any other changes you'd like to see? Um, that doesn't mean anything. It's, for the most part, the way you guys run is just play a game of Dota and go into it, so I don't, I don't see any problem with it. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, since you haven't watched the podcast and stuff, and I don't know if have you watched uh, any other? I mean, there's not really much content in the league. Would you like to see more content in the league, or do you just not? Uh, I mean, it's always good to keep things like if you're really trying to like get it going. Mm -hmm. Like, I know you guys are gonna <laughs> get bad, but my boy Clammy runs Pack, so I mean, they've been doing a very oh, good job of like. Yeah, yeah, he's one of the admins. He's like oh, one of the main people, know. so like. I know he's one of your rival leagues or whatever, I have, but like... I have no clue. I, I don't know. I don't give a shit. It's... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but they, they, they do a pretty good job of keeping in-houses yeah. and, like, doing things like that. The, the in-houses have some less than skilled players <laughs> in sometimes, but for the most part, they, they, they do a pretty go good job keeping the community open. So, I mean, like, it's it's probably good to do stuff like that. Um, and if you want to, like... Like, I, I know... You, um, I know people who like edit videos and stuff. If you want to make things like that, like you, you can always make more content. It's always good to make more stuff to uh, keep the maybe, keep it kind of like cultured yeah. within their own little maybe, thing. Maybe yeah. yeah. After this, give me that guy's uh, info because I don't know how I edit videos for shit. So that would be nice. I mean, I know how to edit, but I I also don't really want to all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. But it depends. Like we'll talk. We can talk okay, about okay. it. It's something that's, different. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna ask, what would you like to see, like content-wise? Like I I'm doing this. If, since you haven't watched, I've been doing just like get to know the teams, ask how you feel about the league. That's why I've been doing this season. But next yeah, season, what no, would you no, like I, to see? I mean, I, yeah, no, that's cool. I, I didn't, I didn't know about it. Yeah. So don't blame <laughs> no, me. No, no, it's fine. That. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean that, that's cool. I mean, like you could do things like that. There also is like I know you guys do like the newsletter shit, mm -hmm. but you ha you aren't like I mean if you like week to week with it, it gets cool. That's what I'm stuff. trying like, to do. It, people. People, people appreciate that. Like, I, I, obviously, no one thinks you're going pro, but whatever you can do to make it feel like it's like a competitive mm -hmm. and people. I mean, obviously, you have the cast and there's like seven people watching. People care about yeah. that. Like, just in the league, regardless. Like, you don't have to make anything big, but like, I know. Um, again, I'm bring my pack. They just got like a guy who like casts like. And if you do this, you'll get people that really are passionate about it, even if they're not that good. Yeah. And like, I, you draw attention because I know some guy who, who casted Dream League is now casting for packs so, oh, i mean yeah. you get enough people in the league that yeah yeah, yeah. so cool. like yeah i think it's just you, you just want to you just want to make people in the league feel like that people care yeah. even even if they don't because I, I know they don't but <laughs> like if, if people think that then the people will stay and yeah all right and uh that's pretty much it it's it's nice short sweet interview you're probably one of the best interviewers yeah. i've had hey hey i appreciate no, no it no problem uh thanks for coming on and that's Hey, anytime, man. Hope anytime. We'll see you next season. I'll have you on next season because you're definitely. I want another great hey. interview. People should take some notes. Hey, man. Anytime. Anytime. Uh, Appreciate having me on. Bye bye.